This is Rocky Hall. It's July 2017th. We're in the Burns, Oregon area. I'm with Tom Davis today and Tom's got some stuff on his mind. He'd like to uh, get out to the American people. So go ahead, Tom. Howdy, folks. How y'all doing today? Mighty nice day in here in Harney County. The weather's gorgeous, sunny, nice, beautiful day. Um, I've got a couple things I want to bring up. First off, I want to bring up the entry into the refuge on January 2nd. And the biggest mistake that was made by Ammon and the guys when they did go down there. Showing their weapons. Brandishing their weapons. All the documentation that has been done on this when they occupied Harney County Resource Center. You will see armed pictures of weapons, pictures of that. Biggest mistake they made was showing and brandishing weapons. Um, in a military type movement or any type of protest, the last thing you want to do is give, give a negative opinion of what's going on. I know some of you will sit there, it's our Second Amendment rights. Yes, it is. It's our Second Amendment right. But we are living in a corrupt, in a corrupt time, in corrupt, corrupt age. Through that ideology of corruption, the liberal media, socialist propagandist media, used those weapons to infer that they were a dangerous lot. Even though they never did no damage, all they did was repair and clean up the refuge, which was a lot better than I've seen it in the past when I'd go down there and visit down there at the refuge. When the firefighters were there, the damage that the firefighter, the kids would do when they were firefighting, the garbage that was left there, the animal manure, the feces that was all over the place from mice and rodents running around. The Bundys did amazing repair work and everything. They never damaged it like the government tried to portray. It was damaged whenever the government took it back over to try to make all the people that were sympathetic to the government believe the lie that they were perpetrating. Through that brandishment of weapons, they became quote unquote armed and dangerous. So this is something we must think about if we are to have any type of what you call where you're protesting or anything is screaming and recreal and brandishing weapons is a bad point for us. Your best bet is not to show your weapons. That's something we must think about. Also, this is a call out. I would still like to find an attorney that would be willing to represent a case against Arne County, State of Oregon, the FBI, Kate Brown, Loretta Lynch, and Valerie Jarrett and Barack Obama. Somebody that has the balls, the cojones, to stand up to the corruption from within the federal government. To seek who the murders were and bring them before trial of the people of, their, of the United States of America. To bring them to what is rightfully called for in the Constitution. This was ambush, execution, murder of Lavoie Finnegan. I would like to see the FBI agents that was involved in this, the ones that shot weapons, be it a sponge ball, be it whatever, rubber bullets, or whatever they want to call. I would like to see them persecuted for the felon. Uh, and threat that they possessed against the people 
of Harney County. So I'm asking the people to seek out and let me know if you do find an attorney or somebody that would stand with me to find answers to these causes. That's all. It's a short. This is all I have to say. Y'all have a good day. God bless you. And God bless America and our president, Donald J. Trump. Amen. Amen to that, brother. I'd like to add that uh, indictments have already been coming down and investigations are already going into uh, several officers making false reports. So things are being done. Please keep the prayers up and step forward with a lawyer. Find us a good lawyer. Rocky out.